It has been a very soggy Wednesday. We woke up to rain, and rain continues now as we are taking you into the afternoon and evening hours. Take a look around the neighborhood weather network. Starting you off in Cascade from the North Pole, Santa's workshop off Pikes Peak Highway. Obviously, you can say the rain is starting to come down once again on Highway 24. Right now, Highway 24 is open, but we are tracking that area of showers very closely as it does move toward the Waldo Canyon burn scar. We also have rain around Colorado Springs from Powers and Woodman. Our ABBA Eye Care camera is showing some rain on the camera lens as well. Storm Tracker 13 Live HD Doppler radar is showing just weak showers right now around the Pikes Peak region. Heavier rain falling off toward the north over Denver. Storms and showers out there this afternoon. They're all shifting off toward the east. So if you are expecting anyone from the Denver area, if you're heading to Denver yourself, just know that as you approach the city, that rain is going to pick up, likely slowing travel down a bit as we head into the evening drive. Taking a look at SkyCast, the storms will stick around through 6 o'clock into the 9 o'clock hour, and then watch what happens between 9 o'clock and midnight. A lot of that activity is going to wind down. We'll be left with cloudy skies overnight tonight, and likely tomorrow morning we'll see some areas of patchy fog as well. We'll have to monitor that, as that could slow you down in the morning. 52 degrees in Colorado Springs, 57 your overnight low in Pueblo temperatures. In the 40s and 50s, off toward the west of the interstate. Tomorrow, we'll start off with the clouds, and we won't see much in the way of sunshine, but it should be quite a bit drier out there, at least for the first half of the day, in comparison to what we had out there today. Here's a look at about 12:30, 12:45, though, and the storms will begin to develop over the mountain locations, and they will start to slide toward the east as we head into the afternoon. So yes, it will be a bit drier tomorrow than it was out there today, but that doesn't mean we're in the clear as far as the thunderstorms are concerned. So expect another round as we take you into the late afternoon tomorrow and through the evening hours. We'll keep those storms in place. Obviously, the areas of yellow show that there is the potential to produce some heavy rain with any storms that develop. Seeing as how the ground is already pretty saturated out there, wouldn't take much to prompt. Flooding concerns. So, best chance for storms tomorrow between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and we will have more flooding concerns tomorrow afternoon with the storms that do pop up. With the clouds and storms in place, it is going to be a cool one. Temperatures only in the 60s and 70s again tomorrow. So, you'll want your umbrella, you'll want your jacket as you're heading out the door again for your Thursday morning. But we should see some improvement here as we head into the end of the work week. 60s tomorrow, and then we're in the 70s Friday, Saturday. I bumped us into the 80s, though. Sunday into Monday, we should be noticeably warmer for the second half of the weekend than we obviously are out there today. So, good news there if you are not a fan of the cool air. We'll also see the storm chances dropping off as we head into the weekend and early next week. Next cool down set to arrive by the Middle of the work week next week, you'll notice Wednesday at 76. Pueblo, 75 degrees, your high temperature tomorrow. Two more days in the 70s, that's Friday, Saturday. And then we're in the 80s, Sunday into Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll stay in the 80s. We'll actually take the chance for storms out of the forecast Sunday and Monday. In Canyon City, your high temperature tomorrow, 73 degrees. 76 on Friday with upper 70s Saturday. Low 80s Sunday into Monday with 70s expected to return once again Tuesday into Wednesday. And in Teller County, we are expecting temperatures to stay in the 60s through the weekend. We'll pop into the 70s briefly on Monday and then drop back into the 60s. We'll keep the chance for storms going each and every day over the next seven days in Teller County. But you'll notice the chance for storms really drops off. Over the weekend and into early next week. So we have to get through tonight. We'll have another round of storms tomorrow, and then it looks like we might be able to, um, I don't want to say relax because I don't think we can ever do no that thing. in this business, <laughs> but we should see the storms fewer and farther between just in time for the weekend. I mean, you can't nice. relax and put our purple boots up on the desk and enjoy ourselves? Somebody has been called out like for your purple rain boots. Those are nice. <laughs> Where can I get a pair of those? Oh man, you can get them at Nordstrom. All right. Uh -oh. Every girl has a pair of rain boots, I think. Wait in till this after place. the show, Rob. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll finish up my job here for the day, and then I'll head. I'll let you borrow mine. All right, thank you. I have a pair of zebra skin ones too. Oh, uh -oh. those would look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs>